hanging out with my son, checking out his grades, and I bought one raffle ticket, and we won the TV. Bless, man, and plus, a day well spent with my son. Good day to you, and how you be, everybody? This is Yana Costo here, and welcome to Taino Inc. Today, it's a good one. Today, we're going to talk about mock-ups. Why mock-ups, for me, is very, very important, because... You want to give that client the first impression and the first impression is very, very important. So why not create your own custom markers by taking a photo of your shop and like that, you're also welcoming that client to your shop and letting them see. So what I do is I'll take a mannequin, I'll put a shirt on and I try to put it next to the press or stack up a lot of shirts, put the mannequin there and take a nice photo. Then take it to Photoshop and you're able to paste that logo on it and send it to them. What I do not do is go to Google, take these photos with a white background, slap in the um, logo and send it to them, or even the ones that are not even realistic, the ones that are drawings, I don't like those at all. So what I do is take a photo of the place, do a nice mock-up for them, and they, believe me, they be impressed. Even after they accept the job, and they pay and they pick up, they're gonna come and tell you, could you please send me that photo? Because they might be even selling those shirts. Do a photo shoot for their own shirt without them even doing it themselves. So it's a win-win when it comes to custom mock-ups. So do that, it works for me, it's great. The other thing is I'm gonna show you once we take it to Photoshop is if another client, you gotta send another client a mock-up, you could use that same photo even if it's a different color shirt, I'm gonna show you how to change that shirt color using Photoshop without distorting all the pixels, not painting it, making it. You wanna keep that shirt look as realistic as possible. And this way that I learned, I'm gonna show you guys is how to change the colors is awesome. It keeps the color, you can go to blue, green, red, any color. And it looks still like that's the color of the shirt. So let's go to Photoshop and show you the picture I took and show you the steps to even change the color. So let's get started. All right, so now I took my mannequin, placed it right next to the press, and I took a nice photo using a white t-shirt. And if you don't have a mannequin, then you're gonna have to look for, go to Google, get a realistic shirt, get the background out, make sure you have it, and when you're gonna place it on the photo, try to make it look as realistic as possible when you're placing it on the photo. The other thing is take your logo and place it somewhere around that photo so they could know it's coming from your business. So let me show you the photo I took. So as you see, this is the photo, white t-shirt, got on next to the press, it was real nice. And I placed the logo, my logo right here on the TV. Anywhere, it doesn't matter, but as long as you have that logo there so it could know it comes from you. So once you already have your photo set up, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna click on the quick selection tool, which is over here, click on it, quick selection. Now what you wanna do is click on around the shirt that you wanna change colors. If you notice, once you click on the shirt, there's gonna be other parts that got clicked on. You wanna take that out so you come to the top you go to subtract from selection, click on it, and then just go and start clicking those selection off. You got that one there, I got this one here, and down here, right there, and up here, we're good. Nice and selected. So now that the whole shot is selected, what you wanna do is you wanna go to the new adjustment layer icon, which is down here, and you click on it. Once you click on it, come up and look for hue saturation. The hue saturation window is gonna pop up. This is how we're gonna change the colors of the t-shirt. So in lightness, you wanna go, let's say I want a, a gray, you go gray all the way to black. And you got a black t-shirt there, real quick. And if you want colors, click on colors, then move a little of the color, and then you wanna saturate in the middle, and then up here in the hue, the hue is what's gonna change the color of the shirt. You got yellow, you got green, you got 
blue, you got red. You see that? Purple, you want to saturate, you want it a little lighter, you want like purple. You could do anything here and get all the colors that you want when you have a color. So let's say right now, I want to use red, right? Let's go with red. I want that red, so I want to saturate and I want that red to look as red as possible. And there goes your red. Once you click on red, for you to paste the logo on it, what you want to do first is go to layers and you want to flatten this image. And now the image is ready for logo. Go to the file, do for logo, and then place it on the shirt. Go to edit, transform, scale, and scale that image so it could look as good as possible. And there it is. You got you. Um, you got your logo right now and you send this to the client, they are going to love it. They're gonna see something different. They're not gonna see this that usually people do. They just send a, uh, a cartoon picture of a shirt or a shirt with a white background normal. Don't do that. When you do this, it takes once you have it, it's real quick. You drag it and you change the colors of the shirt. You never have to be going to different files and looking for shirt. Now, if the person is asking for an image on the back, what you do is you take a picture of that one, and then you take a picture of the back and you send them two files, a file with the front and a file in the back. Don't try to send it all in one file so they could really view the image and see it as realistic. Once you put two images, it doesn't look realistic. Like that, Abe, some might think, oh my God, that's how exactly it's gonna, going to look. He might even, um, gonna ask you that could you send me this picture so they could use it for themselves like I said before if they want to sell if they promoting something or an event they want to show the shirt that's the best way you could send a mock-up to a client with no problem so if you like this video press that like button if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe may God bless you all be grateful and peace out